Okay, so this is a little bit more info about the all top 150 psi 180 liter per minute portable or onboard air compressor very similar to the smitty built and xtm and there's a couple other brands uh it does put out a lot of air uh translates to the 180 liters per minute is about 6.36 cfm i believe of course you know it's pretty hard to test that but um, but for a little comparison um, and this is just a little bonus for the gentleman out there if your wife has a friend that she visits a lot you know you know that male friend that she says it's strictly plutonic okay that's you that's the friend you friend just saying make of it what you will so moving on um the tank is from this just a uh, cheap little two gallon it was about 50 bucks and so i stripped it down repurposed it a little bit because it was 50 bucks. So starting with the, uh, the tank, there's um, two eighth inch NPT female ports that come out of it. And so you just need a uh, eighth inch plug, two of those. Right here is a uh, quarter inch NPT female port into the tank. And so you just need an adapter that goes from a male quarter inch. And I decided to go with a 3 8 NPT. So it goes quarter to 3 8 male on both sides. And I also drilled 3 8 down through the center just to open that up a little bit and clean it out. Then you got a T. Again, that's just a regular... Uh, 3 8 NPT. These are uh, Milton Type V, which flow a lot more air. Um, this is just a little short nipple, another 3 8 T, and another quick connect. Then we just have a uh, 3 8 to a quarter, and that's going to be a bushing is usually what they're called because this whole assembly came from the old compressor and that already had a uh, quarter inch on there so that's a male threaded into the uh, quarter inch female to three eighths now you don't have to use all this I did because the compressor already came with it. Um, essentially what I do is I want a regulated for low pressure stuff. So that's what that is. Um, you know, if I want to just plug in something little and run that, but problem is you're necking way, way down to a quarter inch and making bends and stuff. So I wanted max airflow. And that's the whole idea behind this. That's why I'm using 3 8 These Milton Type V are also larger than the standard Type M. So this is the V, and this is the M. This is what everybody uses. And you can see the uh, the clear size difference. The nice thing is these type V will also accept the regular ones. They just leak a little bit because they're smaller but there is an O-ring in there, but when, when it tips, 
they will leak a little bit. Um, okay, so I'm going to do a little head-to-head -head test. And we'll time it so you can actually see. So this should be about 6.36 6 CFM. Gauge is at zero. Same two gallon tank, same regulator, all that stuff. But one has a larger, and this one is a uh, straight factory. So we'll see how this goes. You can see it turning on and off a little bit. Um, but I got a valve right here that you can't see. So it's not actually in the tank yet. That's a zero. Uh, this one is going to stop about 110 or so. So, this is going to be loud. Just saying. And ready. So about 135-ish, we took two gallons to about 140. That's pretty good. This one hit, looks like about 45. <laughs> so very impressive. Then again, this is that one. That's pretty small. 0.7 CFM. Now I did forget to talk about the um, compressor a little bit. Um, it does take a lot of power. It draws a tested 43 amps or so. That's about 550 watts. So that's a serious draw on your battery. Um, you're going to want to make sure you have your vehicle running so you don't run your battery down. Um, it does come with alligator clamps. But uh, you're definitely going to want to either hardwire it for permanent or make sure you got a good solid connection.